Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix uh, something I noticed um, in the project that we've been working on. Um, it's just a little fix, but hopefully this will uh, clear things up. So you may have noticed that when you're playing the game, um, uh, UE4 Pong through this tutorial series, that the standalone runs, um, the artificial intelligence paddle, runs significantly slower than in the editor. And there's a very uh, good reason for that. Basically what's happening is in the editor, um, this, is, this is running at close to 120 frames per second, and the actual standalone is set to run at 60 frames per second, like we said earlier. So the way to fix that is we want to make it consistent between both. We're just going to change the uh, settings in the uh, Unreal Engine 4 editor to be 60 frames per second. Easy way to do that is uh, when you open up your uh, project you're working on, hit the tilde key, and then go ahead and just type t.maxfps, and you see it come up there, and then just type 60. So when we hit play on the keyboard here, or we play, hit play at the top there, you'll see it ball moving around. You hit tilde again, and you hit stat FPS. See it says 60 there? Previously that was 120, and so now we've set this to be the same speed as it would be in the actual game. If I hit play, you'll notice that the paddle on the left is significantly slower than the way we set up previously. This is the kind of behavior you would see in the standalone game. So to fix that, since 60 frames per second is half of 120 frames per second, let's just double the speed of the enemy paddle. And that'll give us the results that we uh, we kind of tuned to be to our liking. So I just go ahead and have, went ahead and opened up the BP enemy paddle. Uh, I went to the blueprint. I clicked on the AI paddle speed on the left. This is all from the you know tutorial series we did uh, in, uh, just a while ago. And I went over to the default value and set that to 20,000 instead of 10,000. Compile and save that. Go back to the menu, and I'll go ahead and just hit play again. If I hit play. Now, you'll see that when I really hit the ball here, he goes much faster. And there we go. That's what we're expecting. So now when you actually build out the game, you go to File, project, Package Project, uh, go to Windows, 64-bit, or whatever you build to. In this case, I can just build to my desktop. And we'll give that a second, and I'll show you the final results. So before, you had the AI paddle, and it was a bit sluggish at times, and we, we tried to work to make it a little more controllable, but uh, I think this is the, uh, the, the real best solution for it, because it was just that discrepancy between the 120 frames in the editor and 60 frames inside the standalone. So I'll go ahead and just open that up. And we'll open this up. Looks good. Okay, I'll hit play. And this is the, you know, running standalone, completely independent, the kind of thing you could send to somebody. And you see the paddle's really much faster. And more akin to the kind of thing we were working on in the editor. And just to be sure, I can even use the tilde key here since it's a development build. Hit it once, and then hit stat, FPS. And you see it's running at 60. So we know everything's set up right, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to make this uh, video real quick just to cover that issue and just make sure uh, it was running as expected. So thanks a lot. If you appreciate this tutorial, uh, feel free to give me likes and uh, thumbs up and uh, really appreciate anything you can do. Thanks a lot.